Hey everyone, it's Blue Lizard Jello, and welcome back to Blue Plays Elden Ring here in the giant mountaintop catacombs. And uh, I'm gonna have to take a minute to figure out where in the world I am within the catacombs because, wait, why am I getting? This is strange. Okay, this is bizarre. I'm getting ghosts even though I am offline. I I am offline. Otherwise, I could access these menus. I can even show you that right here, my launch setting is play offline, yet I'm getting player ghosts. It's strange, I went to record and then I actually, I actually backed out because I wasn't sure that, that it was working correctly because I was seeing ghosts, so I backed out. I'm not seeing blood stains and I'm not seeing messages, but I am seeing player ghosts and that's very peculiar. Anyway, <laughs> how about that for an introduction? Here are my stats level 118. Those stats, by the way, they are being boosted by Godric's Great Rune, so subtract five from each of those if you want to know where I'm at truly with any of those. Um, I don't think I'm wearing any... Oh, no, I am wearing some some gear that improves my stats like this one that raises intelligence. Anyway, I digest. We are here. I have not been here since yesterday morning, and that's actually in, in you know real lifetime because, um, yeah, I wasn't able to record last night at all. Now, what? what is up with this? I mean, this guy's alive, but he's not he's not active. So we did pull the lever, so we did open up the door. And now I gotta figure out how we are supposed to What? Okay, now he's active. Now he is active. We're just going to kind of pretend like he's not. I feel like these things shouldn't even be alive. Now is this the one that has something? No. Okay. See? And this is where taking about a day in between being in the same catacomb was probably not the best idea, but I didn't really have much of a choice. I just didn't have a chance to record. So uh, bear with me as I get my uh, bearings. You know me. If you've been watching me for any length of time, or if you've seen probably just a single episode, I never noticed that the uh, elbows have these little uh, horns on them. That's intriguing. But I get turned around very easily. I, I do. It's just... It's just how I am. Although, I will say, fairly good at navigating in real life. So if uh, ever you find yourself in the car with me, don't worry, I'll get you where we need to go. Bye. Uh, oh, there's still two of them alive. Okay, that's right, I ran past them. I'm beginning to remember a little bit. Aha, and there's actually the boss door, but I don't want to go there yet because this is this the one that goes down yes 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 all right i want to i want to take this i want to see what loot is at the bottom and then we will go and take on the boss so that wasn't too bad that wasn't too bad at all you know i've seen i've talked about this before and i probably am already jumping topics but a lot of people have compared this to the catacombs in Bloodborne, or the Chalice Dungeon, rather, in, in Bloodborne, and even I've made that comparison, but I've also gone on to say that this is the, or these are the Chalice Dungeons done correctly, in my opinion, and I stand by that, because I'm seeing so much variety in terms of how they have to be navigated, I'm seeing variety in the puzzles that you find inside, I mean, we had that transport chat, oh man, another one of these guys, Terra Magica. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Whoa, 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 Excuse me, no. I... Um, how far is that gonna go? Hopefully not too far. Oh, that's gonna be big. Oh, yeah. Oh, move. Oh. Okay, dope. Anyway, uh, yeah, I, I don't think these are as tedious. I don't think these are as tedious. Ooh. Let's go to Sake America. That should actually be by the boss door. As the Chalice Dungeons. The Chalice Dungeons, honestly and truly, apart from some unique bosses, pardon me for that uh, bang, apart from some unique bosses. Oh, actually. Oh, the Sake America. That's interesting that the Stake America is actually down here. Let's go ahead and pop a rune arc. Once again, let me start my thought. Apart from 
some unique bosses, some unique loot, and um, you know, getting the platinum trophy, I just I find zero reason whatsoever to engage in the Chalice Dungeons anytime I play Bloodborne. I did it once, I got the platinum, I killed Queen Yarnum, and that was it. I have no intention of ever ever doing them again. Okay, friend. Whoa, that's a, that's a really big splash. No wonder I died. I'm curious. What about... Can I get that going? Ah! This is going to be probably not even worth it. So I don't know. We can have that conversation down in the comments below. Happy to have it. I just, personally, I don't think this is at all like that in an any of the negative sense. This to me is the Chalice Dungeons. If the Chalice Dungeons were fun. He says as he's fighting the most obnoxious enemy in the Chalice or in the uh, Catacombs. And this just... I, oh! Here he comes. Oh! Oh! Get me, guys. <laughs> He's getting me, folks. Oh my! I love that there's a stake of America down here, though, which tells me this is kind of a a challenging area. At least that's their intention. What is the best way to go about it? That is going to be the question, huh? Okay, night comet. Oh, right. Oh man, I'm going to burn through these arcs, though. That's that's what stinks. I could go right past him. And by all intents, I probably should. Oh, wait. No, moon, 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 moon. Go, 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 go. Then I'm just gonna... I'm gonna get punch it. Moon blades. Oh, that's ambush shard. I don't have moon blades. <laughs> Don't do that. My goodness. This is getting old, huh? <laughs> that's that's a tough one to dodge. I got it some of the times. I'm most likely struggling more on this mini boss than I am going to the actual boss. Granted, probably just summon my shieldy boys. You know how it goes. Uh, yeah, I don't want to keep wasting too many of these. But I can't go without it, otherwise I have to change my armor so I can actually roll. You know what we should probably do? Is he activated already? Why is he activated? Hopefully that hits. Okay, at least that hit. Yeah, I'm gonna use my flask. I wanna... More than anything, I wanna go save my runes. So let's go do that. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I had such a perfect opportunity there. Alright, just go, go, go. Oh, wow, okay. That went, that went well. I don't know that it should have been that easy, but it ended up being that easy. What level we got? Eight, all right. It's a good level. Let's get my lantern going. Now I did see I have one of these fire breathing. Nope. That's not fire. That's not fire at all. Jeepers. Okay. That hurt. Do I have my bow? I do. Nice. Way to whiff. Okay. Oh, there's another one? Where do the arrows... Wait, where do the arrows come from on this one? Okay, there are holes there. Alright. Let's, uh... Yep. Here's what I'm gonna do. That's not what I wanted to do. There we go. Perfect placement. 
Oh gosh, I was really worried he was actually going to survive that. Uh, you know what? No, that didn't work. There we go, all right. Get, ooh, no. Ugh. Okay, we're all right, we're all right, we're all right. We're okay now. You know, people are telling me I should really be upgrading some of my summons, and I know I should. There's a lot of things I should do. It's just a matter of the things that I'm gonna do. Those two don't always line up. I would, I would dare say they typically don't. Oh! Did I hit it? Yes. Aw, oh, man. You know what? Oh, that's, that's gonna go really well. That's gonna take no time at all. You know, what if I do this, though? Hit, hit the, no, 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 hit the, hit the statue thing. There we go, there we go. Stay there, stay there. Yes, yes. That's what I was hoping for. Again? Again? Okay. And then we run, 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 run. Perfect. I mean, oh gosh, that is, that is scary how far that goes. have something worthwhile down here, right? Oh, what's that? Oh, those are just bones. Oh, okay. okay. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. I don't know if that's going to be it. Nope. Try it again. Because that's it's just a fun one to use. That may or may not hit. I don't know. Still no. I just use a heal. It's amazing how many times I do that. Nah, it might get him. Yes, kill him with the splash. He didn't get him. Alright. Let's get this moving. Number seven. Nothing there, okay. Got a chest. Now this was protected by one of those big guy, so I'm thinking that maybe there's nothing else about to get me. Oh, please be worth it. Okay. Fire monk ashes sound kind of cool. Spirit of a stout monk who monitored the giant's flame, versed in fire incantations, and himself steeled against fire. Though he was charged with keeping watch over the flame after many years of solemn duty, he was to come to its allure. All right. Cool. Well, I guess it's boss time. Right? Do we want to do this just for fun? That didn't even trigger it. That's all right. Not a bad little side area. <laughs> I, I actually didn't mean that as a joke, but that, that should have been a joke. I did a lot. Was that four times? Four times? I didn't even check any of these walls. Might as well, I got time to kill. Uh, I still wish that there was a way to check for illusory walls without just rolling into any of them. Now, that being said, there's apparently an item. Well, I've seen it. I have seen it. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh no, is there another? Did you see that? There's a ledge. Ah, I have to go check it. Uh, there's an item called Margaret's Shackle. 
and it can be used against the fight against, well, Margit, of course, the fell omen who is guarding Stormrail Castle, and it stuns Margit. But it apparently also has the feature of breaking illusory walls from a distance. Where? There it is. Wait a minute, but why? Is there an illusory wall? Or is this just a neat little hidden area that you can go on to for no good reason? Why have you done this? Unless, now this would be cool. I have been hoping for an illusory wall that I have to jump to. So apparently if you use the shackle, it will uh, unveil illusory walls pretty much in a, in a nice big area. So there is no reason to jump early. Why? Why does that exist? <laughs> Darn it. Uh, I was just trying to think, is there any way to... No, there's no way to get on top of this elevator. Ah, oh well. Once again, I'm out thinking the developers. <laughs> I'm not pretending like game development is easy. I'm saying it's incredibly easy. Do your jobs better. <laughs> Sorry. I'm having fun. Oh, materials. Root resin. And I don't have my Flask of Wonders physic. Try some... Sh Let's see if we can't hit him up with a, a Renala's, right? Let's see. What are we fighting? Oh, for crying out loud. Oh, let get out here. I, I just, why? I, I really don't know why this is such a thing. So many. Are you, are you coming after me? Okay, no, you're not. And here we go, Night Comet. Get up there. You're up, my friend. Not me. Still good damage. How about a little max? Man. Oh, crud. How about a little big old cannon burst? Whoa! fighting ultra tree spirits. I've seen a lot of people bring up the discussion of Dark Souls 2 because a lot of people, myself included, did have a complaint, which I still claim is a valid complaint, that uh, Dark Souls 2 did reuse a lot of bosses. And, you know, the Dark Souls series in general have reused a lot of bosses. Oop. You know what? Actually, let's not use that yet. Just in case we too, do take... Any undo damage? Oh, like that. Yep. But, um, what was I trying to say? So, Dark Souls 2 has... Is it... Ah, uh, no. I am now I'm dead, and I just lost 78,000 rooms. I'm not crying. You are. Dark Souls 2 has 40 or 41 bosses with Scholar of the First in. I can't remember. They did reuse some bosses. They doubled up on some bosses. They did pallet swaps with some bosses. But it really was not nearly, not nearly as egregious as Elden Ring has been. Now, that doesn't mean that Dark Souls 2 was... Oh, shoot. Now we're going to be in a lot of trouble because the elevator's not up. Dark, that Dark Souls 2 can be forgiven for it. It just means that they are just so desperately trying to make it okay when I just think I would rather have, honestly, they just fell off, fewer bosses than to have so many repeats. Does that make sense? You know, I don't think that every catacomb in every cave has to culminate in a boss. In fact, 
simply taking a regular enemy like they have before, like a rune bear, and putting a boss health bar on it, doesn't, oh, there's, nope, not going up there. Uh, doesn't really make it a satisfying boss. It doesn't make it a boss at all, in my opinion, other than just strict semantically speaking. I don't know. Maybe I'm getting way too into it. This game is fantastic. I do have my criticisms. I'd love to hear what you think about it below. Um, but I also want to beat this boss. Okay. We could do Oleg. We probably should do Oleg. Apparently, Black Knife Tish is... is I think how I've grown accustomed to calling her is absolutely incredible. I just need to level her up. I could do the depra Let's let's try Carmen. Let's try Carmen. Let's see how let's see how Carmen does. Oh wow! I mean, she goes right in there. Oh oh no no no. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> Got me real quick. I feel like I don't have my Elden Ring legs on just yet. Also, remember when I said, remember, I just said remember. Remember when I said that I liked that they had the Stake America down in that little side section? I wish the Stake America was outside this boss. <laughs> It, it, it definitely should be here and not there. That is that is my new take. <clears throat> fell for that again, didn't I? And now I'm gonna fall for this again. Please, scramble him a ding dong, all right? Just back up, fall down. Come on. Nope, and I'm dead. <laughs> Look at how far I fall for. Oh, I like that. Actually, so there must be a time limit. If you fall for X amount of time, you actually just die before you even hit the kill plane. Interesting. What's not interesting is um, how my enjoyment has decreased so much in this category <laughs> just in the last few minutes. Oh, all right. How did that miss? <laughs> We're still having fun. We're still having fun. Nope. Okay. There. Now, we're going to go in with one fewer Cerulean Flask, and that's okay. You know what we need to do? Let's be smart about this. Send the elevator back up. Remember, sending the elevator back up is not you not believing yourself. But this is me not believing in myself, so there's a difference. And yes, we'll use a rune arc. First, let's send this up. Actually, you know, I want to see something real quick. Send it up. I, I do want to go here. I just want to know. You know, is, is there any purpose to these? Any reason at all? No? Okay. It's a shame. That is a shame. Alright, rune art time. Down to ten. Ouch. Okay, so many. Yeah, we need to we need to make sure that our our summon has actually got their attention. So there we go. That should be enough, I think, right? Whoa! All right, chill out. Um, you need to be, you need to be doing better. Oh, no, 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 
heal up. Don't switch your uh, weapons. Oh, very close. That's bad. That's really bad. That's what I need in a summon. That's what I need as a friend. Looking for someone who will hold aggro, please apply below. I'm trying to come up with witty commentary during this. I got, I got nothing. Sorry, I got nothing. This is just kicking me left, right, and center. Okay, drop. Worked out nicely. Good. Good, 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 good. And I sent the elevator back up, huh? A little forward thinking there. Oh, you know what time it is. <laughs> Shieldy boys. I don't... Best summon there is. Remember when I said it was the land squirts? And then I tried them and they were actually terrible? Shieldy boys. Best summon. 2022. Send that back up, although this is it. This is... We're done after this. I, I can tell you. Oh, forgot my root resin. That's why I'm doing this root resin farm. Most effective one I've seen. Alright. Go. Go forth. You got this? Where are you? You're up there? All right, yes. Here we go. Oh, that damn is very weird. Oh, no, 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 what are you doing? Don't, don't, don't eat me, don't eat me. Oh my goodness, please, no. Alive. Only just. Run away. Big run. Oh, whoa, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't realize that went that far. Shieldy boys. You guys are... I'm grabbed again. I'm not grabbed again. Okay, run away, run away, run away. This thing is strangely challenging. Oh no, we're okay, we're okay, we're okay. We're not okay. Please. Did we get him? Oh, we got him. Oh my goodness. I don't know why I find that one so difficult. Golden Seed. Glove Wart Picker Bell Bearing number two. Okay. Oh, and a chest. Now the, is that grave? I, I it's gotta be grave, right? Grave Glover, four, five, and six. That's really nice, actually. Hey, uh, no, Shieldy Boys are already upgraded to their max. And a Death Root. I totally forgot about the Death Root. I'm not gonna lie. And if you thought, if you thought I was gonna leave these 2,400 runes, how dare you? Have a little faith in me. <laughs> All right. So we are actually going to. I want to go turn that in right now to Garank. What a weird name. But let's do it. Also, when I ran around the Bestial Sanctum before, I was told there is a way to drop down there. And, um, not so sure I still believe it, but, you know, might have to give it a, give it a try. Alright, one death room. I won't forget. I never must. Beast Claw Great Hammer. I mean, obviously never gonna use it like most of the things we get. But pretty cool. Great hammer with a striking end model to resemble five beastly claws. The black nails protruding from golden fur are said to represent Sirash, Lord of Beasts, who went on to become King Godfrey's regent. He's the, uh, Sirash is the lion perched on, on Godfrey. Regal beast claws and the hammer into the ground, rending the land asunder. Just a great phrase, rending the land asunder, with the armaments five bestial claws. 
All right. Not enough to level. Not even close. I am curious. <laughs> I am curious. Can we kill this guy yet? Should we try? Let's try it. This is going to be foolish. Because he's still going to kill me super quick, right? Although, that's a lot of damage we just did. Just torn, 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 torn. Go, go, go. Whoa, Nelly. Okay. Now face him. Oh, man, that damage is just phenomenal. Get some stamina back. Let him run into him. Excellent. Whoa. Oh, little guy. Little vulgar militia. No. All right. That's all right. Uh, oh, 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 no. Oh. There. No. Oh. Ah, he's very close. He's very close. Can I do? Yes. Stars of Ruin. Uh, I need to get closer. I don't. Beautiful. Okay. Growing, that's actually not what I want. He's just outside of range. Oh my gosh, we got him! Hey, uh, yes, magic on horseback. It's gonna work. Eighty thousand, and the gargoyle's black blade and the gargoyle's black halberd. All right. Hey, now we can level up. Now that's the kind of note that I wanted to end on. Garank, are you proud of me? No. All right, that's fair. <laughs> All right, what do we got here? What have we been working on? We've been working on strength, right? Okay, yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. And on that note, that is gonna do it for this episode of Blue Plays Elden Ring. At some point we're gonna kill Garank, right? Or at least fight him, I don't know. Oh, we can't actually use our summons anymore. <laughs> oh no, we're in trouble. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you next time.